There they are. Let me get you over on them. Good morning, everyone. We're out here. Just a few miles off the beach. Got some family coming down. My son and his wife and uh, Ellie and I came out early to try to catch some bait. Do a little inshore stuff today. It's more of a fun day than anything. So let's see what happens. Oh, blue runner. We lost the other one. I'm gonna lose this one. Uh oh. Mackerel must be here. You just lost your whole thing. Man, today would be a good day to go Meg tooth hunting. That water is crystal clear. It is beautiful. Look at all the crab traps that got lost in the storms. There's rope and crab traps everywhere. Dad might have to come out here and dive and recover some. Some of them are probably ours. We'll set them a couple miles north and then all of a sudden we'll get a big storm and it'll drag them all the way down into the inlet. We've had them move over two miles before. That's a spotted eagle ray, guys. Cool. Yeah. What I was hoping we would see. The fact that you just happened to all of that, is that a stingray? They look like a rock. That would be insane. <laughs> There he is, here he comes, right towards you guys. Hey, Scuba Steve, those look like fins, only smaller. Well, I can only fit it in children's size, so. Well, are you gonna go down and get some footage? Don't, don't splash in, just nice and easy, and then swim with them. Do not disturb them.
Welcome to the kitchen. What a great day we had out there yesterday. It's kind of wild that we were able to find a spot that was, you know, the water was this deep. So not a lot of people are going to dig around with their feet and then go under and, and get them. But there are certain areas that you're allowed to uh, harvest these. I call them cohogs. Some people call them little necks. Uh, the neck comes out here and you'll see hopefully in the footage where the uh, little holes in the sand are. These are bivalves. And what's crazy is I left them in the live well overnight. And we thought we let all the bait go that we didn't use, but there was a few shrimp and one pinfish that were nestled in and amongst all the shells here. And uh, got up early this morning, went out, the clams were all fine, but the pinfish and the shrimp that we didn't let go were all dead. Now there's a reason for that. These things can actually slow their metabolism down to like 1% of their normal rate. And that way they can utilize oxygen better. A lot of places we used to find them, the water would go out and it would be exposed sand for several hours, sometimes eight hours uh, before the tide came back in and covered them back up. But very interesting little creatures. They are filters, so uh, by leaving them in the salt water all night last night, they, they purged themselves, and then I took them and washed them off real good. So I'm gonna make stuffed cohogs. We're gonna use three tablespoons of minced onion, two tablespoons of minced parsley, one stick of butter, garlic paste, or you can just use fresh garlic, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. Okay, we got one large pot with about an inch and a half to two inches of water in that. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Going right in. Try not to burn myself. All right, once they start to boil again, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit to medium heat, and then we're gonna let them go 10 minutes or so. Oh, one of my favorite smells. That's what it looks like. That is the foot. So that comes out of the bottom of the shell, which is this end right here. The neck comes out the top there. So the neck is right up in here. So that foot, when they want to move or dig, that foot comes out and they can work their way down into the sand. Now these, we put the stuffing in. Steal a little bit of that broth. We're gonna add that to our stuffing and add all that amazing flavor. What you think? Smells good in here, doesn't it? I've got the melted butter, onions. Stir them in until they soften up. We're gonna add our garlic. Clams. Okay, so we're gonna put in our parsley, our breadcrumbs, a little lemon juice in there. All right, there you go. Well done. What a presentation. We're gonna put a little salt pepper, and top of the cheese. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of paprika. In the oven, 350. Once the cheese is like golden brown, it should be. Not for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's pretty much what we got. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I guess we're out of here. We're going to see you in the next one.